Welcome to St Paul's Cathedral, Melbourne, for this service of Compline, prayer at the end of the day. St Paul's Cathedral is built on the traditional lands of the Kulin Nations, sovereign lands, never ceded. And I acknowledge and pay my respects to Indigenous Elders past, present and emerging, and to Indigenous people who may be joining us in this worship. We at St Paul's are prayerfully committed to the ongoing work of reconciliation. My name is Philip Nichols. I'm Director of Music here at our Cathedral, the home church of the Diocese of Melbourne and the province of Victoria. I hope that wherever you are, St Paul's will be home for you during our worship together. The order of service is available on our website. Please join in singing with me as you're able. The cathedral is presently closed to the public in response to the coronavirus pandemic. Apart from Andrew Victorson operating the video equipment, I'm alone in the cathedral. I'm often alone when singing Compline, but rarely in such beautiful surroundings. I hope that you will enjoy spending this time together in prayer, reflection and song, and may God bless you richly. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Lord Jesus, you came to call sinners to repentance. Have mercy on us. Lord Jesus, sent to heal those who are burdened in soul, have mercy on us. Lord Jesus, now seated at the Father's right hand to intercede for us, have mercy on us. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Glory to God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Praise the Lord. Your own eyes shall see, 
and look on the reward of the ungodly. The Lord himself is your refuge. You have made the Most High your stronghold. Therefore no harm will befall you, nor will any scourge come near your tent. For he will command his angels to keep you in all your ways. They will bear you up in their hands, lest you dash your foot against a stone. You will tread on the lion and the adder. The young lion and the serpent you will trample underfoot. You have set your love upon me, says the Lord. And therefore I will deliver you. I will lift you out of danger because you have known my name. When you call upon me, I will answer you. I will be with you in trouble. I will rescue you and bring you to honor. With long life, I will satisfy you and fill you with my salvation. A reading from John's Gospel. Now there was a Pharisee named Nicodemus, a leader of the Jews. He came to Jesus by night and said to him, Rabbi, we know that you are a teacher who has come from God, for no one can do these signs that you do apart from the presence of God. Jesus answered him, Very truly I tell you, no one can see the kingdom of God without being born from above. Nicodemus said to him, How can anyone be born after having grown old? Can one enter a second time into the mother's womb and be born? Jesus answered, Very truly I tell you, no one can enter the kingdom of God without being born of water and spirit. What is born of the flesh is flesh, and what is born of the spirit is spirit. Do not be astonished that I said to you, you must be born from above. The wind blows where it chooses, and you hear the sound of it, but you do not know where it comes from or where it goes. So it is with everyone who is born of the spirit. Nicodemus said to him, How can these things be? Jesus answered him, Are you a teacher of Israel, and yet you do not understand these things? Very truly I tell you, we speak of what we know and testify to what we have seen, yet you do not receive our testimony. If I have told you about earthly things and you do not believe, how can you believe if I tell you about heavenly things? No one has ascended into heaven except the one who descended from heaven, the Son of Man. And just as Moses lifted up the servant in the wilderness, so must the Son of Man be lifted up, that whoever believes in him may have eternal life. For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, so that everyone who believes in him may not perish, but may have eternal life. Indeed, God did not send the Son into the world to condemn the world, but in order that the world might be saved through him. Those who believe in him are not condemned, but those who do not believe are condemned already, because they have not believed in the name of the only Son of God. And this is the judgment, that the light has come into the world and people loved darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil. For all who do evil hate the light and do not come into the light so that their deeds may not be exposed. But those who do what is true come to the light so that it may be clearly seen that their deeds have been done in God. Thanks be to God. In 
Let us pray. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Lighten our darkness, Lord, we pray, and in your great mercy defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of your only Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Let us praise the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. God is worthy to be praised and exalted forever. May the almighty and merciful God bless us and keep us. Amen. <laughs> 